Hey everyone, real quick. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, share this video on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever social media platform you use, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Those are the three biggest things you can do to help our channel grow and to support our channel. That brings me to my next thing. A lot of people have been asking about how they can support us. And while we appreciate the offer to give monetary donations, we just don't accept them. What you can do instead is there's a link down below in the description. That link will take you to Farm Focus website that has our Freedom Farms merchandise on it. All of our apparel on there is 100% made in the USA. The shirt is made here, the decals are made here, and then they're put on the shirts all here in the United States. There's also decals on there and shortly there'll be sweatshirts. So if you're interested in that stuff, please go check out Farm Focus website. The link is down below in the description. It'll take you straight to our shop. Thank you and enjoy the videos. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, think about subscribing. There's going to be several videos of this barn build. It is going to take probably about 20 videos worth to show the whole build from start to finish. Um, the concrete work and the dirt work was done by Armstrong Concrete, but everything else structure wise, my wife and I did. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to stop and try to give you tips and tricks along the way, but you're going to need more than that to build a barn on your own. So don't think that we're going to teach you the entire way to do it. You need to do a lot of research on your own before building your own structure. So I hope you enjoyed the videos. And if you haven't already, hit that like button. All right, first things first, the concrete pad's done, the stem walls are done. They have two aprons, one right there and one right about there-ish that need to be done. And they'll be doing them tomorrow. As you can see, it rained overnight, so that's why we have an indoor or in-ground pool. But thank you, Eddie um, Armstrong of Armstrong Concrete. You and your family did a great job on this, and I appreciate it greatly. If you're in the Lebanon, Missouri area and you need concrete work done, I highly encourage using them. They did a wonderful job, absolutely no complaints about them, and they worked well with us even after I made a mistake on the on the distance between the bolts that need to be in the stem walls for sticking out to attach the actual structure that me and Chrissy are going to build on there. I messed up on it. They fixed it for me, no problems, after I told them the right dimensions. But they did a great job. They're family-owned business. His dad is the one that started it. His dad was driving the dump truck. His, uh, or he is the one running the business now. And his son is working with him, you know, on the concrete work and stuff like that. His brother-in-law and nephews, I believe. Excellent company to work with. Family owned, family operated. Wonderful to deal with. I absolutely love it. Um, they did a great job. So I have no complaints whatsoever. So if you need concrete work and you're in Lebanon, Missouri, or the surrounding area, by all means, give them a call. They did a great job, and they'll make sure that they take care of it. I have no doubt in my mind that if something is wrong, they'll come out and fix it with, with no headache. Um, oops, sorry, Freedom. What's up? What? Anyways, um, saying that, I hired them to do it because Chrissy and I wouldn't have been able to do this efficiently or... Um, <laughs> efficiently or cost effectively the reason i say that is because this took them about a week and some change to get done um actually about a week i think they started last thursday so they came in they, i did a little bit of prep work on the ground to help it dry that's all i did i didn't level anything out i didn't um you know grade anything nothing like that they did all that i would have had to run a skid steer to get all that stuff done and then to top that off i would have had to um rent 
uh, not rent formwork, but I would have had to buy some two by sixes to do the formwork around the side of the pad. And then I had to buy a bunch of plywood right here. I had to buy all that. I would have had to buy almost all of the, uh, rod, the steel rods you see in order to create the support that is needed between there. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I would have had to do, um, or purchase rather that just made it to where it wouldn't have been cost effective. And then the biggest thing is our time. Like I said, what took them about a week to do, working throughout the day and stuff, we wouldn't have been able to do because we both have jobs. We would have been able to work in the evenings on it, but, you know, evening work, you know, you're tired from working all day. By the time we get around to it, you know, like I said, it's going to be about one or two hours a day working on it. It's just take forever. Just wasn't cost effective. It was best to hire it out. So, and we we're very happy with who we used. They did a great job. I say that though, because the next video, Chrissy and I are going to start building, or sorry, not the next video. The next video, I'm going to show you how to do the bill of materials list for the actual structure of the building, because that's something that most people can do. Most people have tools to do carpentry and masonry work. Uh, well, maybe not masonry, sorry. Masonry would be concrete work, sort of. But most people have the tools to do carpentry work. And... Uh, I think it's something that might be helpful for those of you watching if you wanted to build your own barn because not a barn doesn't have to have concrete floors this has to have a concrete floor because we're doing it on a partnership with soil and water department of uh, um, missouri and there's some stuff that they won't let us do like down here we have this on a slope and we do it on purpose because in the spring i'm gonna be able to wash this floor off to get all the fresh dirt residue gone and basically we'll pile it down here and then we'll use the tractor to scoop it out but whenever we uh, wash it i'm gonna have some water left over i'll use a pump and pump it out they won't let us put a drain in there because they don't want the fresh dirt juices to be able to escape essentially is what it comes down to but all that said the slope to this is beneficial for us because of how it's going to work and then whenever we or cleaning it or scooping uh, the manure out of here, it's going to be a lot easier because we can push it all down here and we're not pushing against anything. It's all going downhill. It makes it much simpler on the tractor. Um, it's not a... They'll work with you a little bit on the design on, on what you want, but they're not willing to do some stuff because they think it's going to be bad for the environment. That's really what it comes down to. But this is actually a, a pretty easy fix. We'll pump it out. Once we have the structure overhead, we won't have to worry about it. What happened was it rained. All that rain just came straight down and then filled that up. But stay tuned. And next video, we're going to show you how to do your bill of materials list and how to even make your own plans. So you don't have to buy plans. We're not buying plans. Yeah, you can buy plans. It's very simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff to save you a little bit of time, a little bit of money. And... Uh, hopefully it help you in your endeavor to build something like this. But other than that, have a great week and uh, have a blessed week actually. And we'll see you next time. Chrissy said, I got to get the house. She said, I have to clean the whole house before she gets home. I know how I can do it real quick. Watch this. Now, I know you guys didn't see it on time lapse, but I didn't just clean the front. I cleaned all the way around. Me and Gage went up on the roof. We cleaned up there. We did everything. She's going to be tickled pink when she gets home. And she better take her shoes off before she gets on that porch. She just cleaned it. You're not going to believe how stupid I feel right now. It took me about 15 minutes to get this whole side done. And this whole side. Can't show you over there because that's what I was using. Let me show you, well, that's what I started using to get this done in like 15 minutes. This is what I've been using, the air compressor and a paint spray gun. We're warming. We're water sealing the house because it's a log cabin, so every three years. The sealer we use says it's good for five years, but we just do it every three years just for good measure. But anyways, 
So I power washed all this off. You seen that earlier uh, when Christy made me clean the whole house. Power washed all the old stuff off, and then uh, we water sealed again. So basically, this is how I've been doing it. And just to give you a quick idea of how long it takes, I'll just go. Oh, we'll just do it right here. All right? I'll just do one board. Just so you see, and then it's got about a one quart container that you gotta refill often. Real quick, everyone. Pump sprayer is what I ended up using, and it made it go so much quicker. I could adjust the flow on the end of the nozzle to make it a, a more fine pattern or a stream. Um, night and day difference of how well it worked. And the house turned out very nice. It's in a much darker shade now than what it used to be, as you can see there. Hey, Bella. And then we also did the uh, the garage too, because it's not log but it's got wood siding on it basically to make it look like log so hope you all enjoyed the video stay tuned to see where the barn is going